Nagbabala ka bang bumili ng Intel laptop sa Pasko? Pero sa dami ng brands, hindi mo alam kung anong pipiliin mo. And also, hindi mo alam yung performance nito. Don't worry guys, kasi sa video na ito, titignan natin ang performance ng Intel Core i7-11800H sa tatlong magkakaibang laptops. At isang Intel Core i5-11400H. For the Intel Core i5-11400H, ito ang 2021 Acer Nitro 5. Para naman sa Intel Core i7-11800H, nandito ang 2021 Asus Tough Gaming F15, MSI Katana GF6611UG, at Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Good evening sa inyo guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagkiklik ng video na ito. I really really appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's get into the content. Intel H45 laptops are built different. It is mobile, handy, it is powerful. But these are not just your ordinary laptops because Intel H45 laptops are built like desktop computers, boasting its 10 nanometer super thin technology that has 8 cores, 16 threads, Willow Cove microarchitecture that delivers enhanced performance and power efficiency. 20 PCIe Gen 4 lanes that is directly connected to the CPU for higher bandwidth for your graphics and storage needs. Supports for Thunderbolt 4 that has 40 gigabits per second bandwidth, higher RAM capacity support of up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 MHz, up to 44 platform PCIe lanes for the most feature-rich enthusiast laptops. Intel Octane Memory H20 that has second gen Octane and NAND hybrid SSD with improved power and performance. Quick sync video with new 2 times multi format codec engines for fast video transcoding and low power 4K streaming. Much more reliable Wi Fi connection thanks to its discrete 6 GHz Intel Wi Fi 6E and integrated Intel Wi Fi 6 AX201 support. If you prefer hardwired than Wi Fi connection, don't worry because with its 2.5G Intel Ethernet connection, I-225 support, you can expect a strong, fast, and secure internet connectivity. If you want to take the H45 laptops to the next level by overclocking, don't worry. With the help of Intel Speed Optimizer that is built into the Intel XTU or Extreme Tuning Utility software, you can perform overclocking in just one click. Bago natin tignan yung performance guys, syempre, yung specs muna. Umpisahan na natin dito sa Acer Nitro 5. For the CPU, meron itong Intel Core i5-11400H with a base frequency of 2.7GHz up to 4.5GHz boost. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050Ti for the GPU, 8GB of memory clocking at 3200MHz, 500GB of SSD for the storage, and last 1080p display at 144Hz refresh rate. Up next ay ang 2021 Asus Tough Gaming F15. For the CPU, meron itong i7-11800H clocking in at a base frequency of 2.3GHz up to a boost clock of 4.6GHz. Meron itong NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 6GB of GDDR6 graphics card. For the memory naman, meron itong single 8GB module at 3200MHz speed. 1TB of NVMe storage and an IPS display of 15.6 inches 1080p resolution at 144Hz refresh rate. Next ay ang MSI Katana GF6611UG. Same processor of course, meron itong Intel Core i7-11800H. For the GPU, mas mataas ito dahil meron itong RTX 3078GB of GDDR6. Mas mataas din ang memory nito dahil meron itong 16GB 2x8GB module at 3200MHz frequency. For the storage, mas mababa dahil meron lamang tayong 500GB of NVMe SSD storage. And para sa display, meron tayong 1080p at 144Hz refresh rate. Last but definitely not the least ay ang Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Intel Core i7-11800H for the CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, 8GB of GDDR6 for the graphics card, 32GB of memory that's 2x16GB module at 3200MHz speed up to 2TB of NVMe SSD storage at para sa display meron itong 1440p at 165Hz refresh rate. 
For the gaming performance per se, of course, hindi ito magiging pare-parehas. Pero I am actually curious sa magiging performance ng processor sa magkakaibang laptops. No, with different technology, different build, and different specs no, ng iba't iba netong components na ginamit. So guys, for the CPU benchmark performance test, gagamit tayo dito ng Cinebench R23. For the real-world performance naman, gagamit tayo ng video editing software na ginagamit ko, which is yung Vegas Pro 19. And lastly guys, for the gaming, I'm just going to launch Valorant for the test. Note lang guys, lahat ng laptops na ito nga pala is nasa stock clock speed. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko to in-overclock. Also guys, wala akong kinalikot or tinwik sa mga laptops na ito para madagdagan or maboost yung performance. Nakasaksak din ang mga laptop na ito sa outlet para mag-perform to its best and hindi magkaroon ng limitations. So with all that being said, and without any further ado, here's the result of the test. As you can see, having almost the same specs, the ASUS Tough Gaming F15 and MSI Katana GF66 are neck and neck in the multi-core score with only 1.38% increase in performance on the MSI Katana GF66 against the 2021 ASUS Tough Gaming F15 which in my opinion is almost negligible. Lenovo Legion 5 i Pro, on the other hand, ay merong mas noticeable difference against the others. With an additional 5.27% and 6.72% increase in performance laban sa MSI Katana GF66 at sa 2021 ASUS Tough Gaming F15 respectively. Since the Acer Nitro 5 ay meron lamang i5, of course, mas mababa ang score nito compared sa big brother niya na i7. Pero kung ang habol nyo naman ay gaming, huwag nyo itong ismolin dahil hindi ito magpapahuli pagdating sa single core performance. Halos walang pinagkaiba ang single core performance ng Acer Nitro 5 laban sa 2021 Asus Tough Gaming F15, MSI Katana GF66 at Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Para naman sa temps or para naman sa temperature ng single core performance, makikita natin dito agad na ang may pinakamagandang solution to cool down our Intel Core processor ay walang iba kundi ang Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. For more CPU intensive tasks naman, makikita natin ang temps ng multi-core test na ginawa ko and MSI Katana GF66 has the better cooling solution when it comes to more CPU demanding softwares only maxing out at 82 degrees Celsius with an average of 74 degrees Celsius. Now, for more realistic or for real-world performance naman, ginamit ko ang video editing software na ginagamit ko, which is yung Vegas Pro 19, para mag-edit ng video, no, para naman makita natin kung gaano kabilis ba ito makakapag-render. Take note lang guys no, na hindi kasama dito ang Acer Nitro 5 kasi... Unfortunately, yung Acer Nitro 5, no, nung sinend sa akin, is meron itong Windows 11. And unfortunately, again, yung gamit yung video editing software, which is yung Vegas Pro 19, is hindi pa siya compatible sa Windows 11. So, hindi ko ito nagawa ng test dito. Anyway guys, kung makikita natin dito sa graph, nagrender ako ng 2-minute video at 1080p at 4K resolution with both 60 frames per second at 50 million CBR or constant bitrate. Kung may kita nyo sa graph, panalong-panalo ang Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Natapos na itong i-render ang 1080p 60fps na video sa loob lamang ng 3 minutes and 59 seconds at ang 4K 60fps video naman sa loob ng 11 minutes and 1 second. And for the times naman tulad ng nakita natin sa result ng Cinebench kanina, MSI definitely has the better cooling solution when it comes to rendering a 1080p video. Pero pagdating naman sa 4K rendering, I would say MSI's cooling solution is doing a great job keeping the CPU at a reasonable temperature compared to others na umabot hanggang 100 degrees Celsius. Now, ito na ata ang hinihintay ng lahat. No? Punta na tayo sa gaming performance. Let us first take a look guys sa GPU temperature ng mga laptops na to. Dahil kung maglalaro ka sa mga laptops na ito, sa tingin ko dapat mong malaman ang temperature kasi mas mas ramdam mo yung init no ng laptop compared sa init ng desktop PC or desktop computers pero take note lang muna lahat ng laptop na ito ay nilaro ko sa 1080p resolution except 
except guys dito sa Lenovo Legion 5i Pro. Dahil ito guys ay merong 1440p resolution, so why not? Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa graph, the Acer Knight 5 has the lead when it comes to cooling down the GPU. For the CPU terms naman, when it comes to gaming, still the Acer Knight 5 has the lead. Pero looking at the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro, even though the game has 1440p resolution, mas mababa ang temps nito compared sa MSI Katana GF66 at only 1080p. Last but definitely not the least sa result ng aking benchmark, ito na ang FPS result or yung result ng frames per second. As you expect from the RTX 3070, the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro rendered the most frames followed by the MSI Katana GF66. The Acer Nitro 5 naman sa kabilang banda laban sa 2021 Asus Tough Gaming F15 ay halos hindi magkalayo dahil meron itong RTX 3050 Ti at RTX 3060 respectively. Now, that is it for the result ng benchmark guys. Ngayon naman punta na tayo sa conclusion. Whether you want guys the Intel i7 or Intel i5 11th gen, for gaming and productivity it doesn't matter. It delivers what you expect and what you need and maybe even more. Intel H45 laptops guys can give you the best of both worlds. If you want a desktop performance computer but you're always on the go and prefer mobile computers, the Intel H45 laptops are definitely for you. And that is it for the video guys. Maraming maraming salamat nga pala sa Intel. Anyway, that is it for the video guys. As usual, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video, please hit the like button. And kung hindi nyo naman nagustuhan, you can dislike it. You can do whatever you want. It is a free country. Though, nag-update si YouTube, no? Hindi nyo naman kita yung number of dislikes. So, might as well hit the like button. So, <laughs> yon. Also guys, comment kayo sa comment section down below. Let me know kung alin sa mga laptops na ito ang gusto nyo. And why? No, bakit? Bakit? Wala lang. Gusto ko lang malaman. <laughs> also guys, subscribe kayo dito sa channel ko kasi napakarami pang tech-related videos as in napakarami pang tech-related videos coming up very very soon. No, as well as unboxing, product reviews, product overviews, PC building videos, and podcast. <laughs> Next year podcast coming up very very soon. Once again guys, my name is CJ and magkita-kita tayo sa susunod kong video.